Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go over the previous video that I made about having the uh, no display on the PS4. I know a lot of people have been asking me to make a video, so I thought I'd just jump right in and uh, create this video. So if you haven't seen the previous video, I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and check it out. But uh, just a, a recap, I ended up getting a PS4 was given to me it had no hard drive and the previous owner said uh, there was no display so I had an extra hard drive laying around I thought I'd give it a try I popped it in went through the uh, recovery installation and I got no display after all the setup process so I put a new hard drive in and still the same issue try change in resolution uh, option number two there and uh, still the same thing. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, I'll show you a recap here. We'll just uh, jump right in here. I'm going to start up the controller and we'll go ahead. I do have 9.00 in. Go ahead and hit OK. Now in the previous video, uh, the background was all black. I tried to do that same thing this time and uh, it just wouldn't happen. I don't know what causes it to go black. Um, but uh, we'll go through with the little setup here, and uh, I will try to edit the video and add in parts of the the other video I made just to show you the difference. Okay, so it did a reboot. As you can see here, it is a black screen, but it has the uh, the wave there. This That wave wasn't there the last time I was doing that. And if you watch the previous video, you can see that. Um, so everything was basically just black. And that... Uh, this was what created a lot of issues because I couldn't see any of the pop-up messages that were happening in the background. It was just all gone. Okay, so once it's done, uh, it does do a reboot and then it starts booting up. We do have the PlayStation logo here now. After this, we should get the Sony. And then we should be able to get into the setup process where we can set all our options. So we'll give it a few moments here. There we go. Sony logo comes up. Okay, and then there we go. As you can see, it's blue now. If you do watch the previous video, this was all black, and this is what threw me off because I wasn't sure. And I tried to replicate it, but uh, I just don't know what was going on with it, what uh, caused it all to go black. Now, if it didn't go black and it was like this here, like you'll be able to see once we go through this here, um, you'd know exactly how to fix it because you would know that you're in IDE or IDU mode. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and we'll set the proper time here as well. Uh, mountain time. And the date is fine. And next. And next. I accept. And start now. So at this point here, this is when I would have a black screen. You can see the pop-ups come up. User 1 as well as uh, ID U update disk. Um, I didn't have any of that. It was just a black screen. So when I talked to Chris on Twitter, he told me to uh, pressure R1, R2, L2, or L1 and L2, as well as up on the D-pad and options all at the same time. So when you do that, what it does is it brings you into staff mode. So you got to hold it in for 10 seconds. There we go, and we're into staff mode. Okay, so once we're into staff mode here, there's a few things we can do. Um, first thing what we're gonna need to do is set up the network. So we'll go over to, oh, go over to settings. First thing what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna jump down to system and uh, just switch these buttons because it uh, really bothers me. There we go. And once they're switched, then we can jump up to network. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the network. Okay, so when you do set up the internet connection here, I do recommend adding in Al and Zip's DNSs. So you just go ahead and put those in. They are 165.227. Dot 
dot one four five. And your IDE or IDU will start updating as well. It will download. That is fine. Don't worry about that. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the other one in as well. So you can see one nine two dot two four one. Oh. 241.221.79. And we'll go ahead and hit next there. An automatic, do not use, and we are done. So we'll back out of there. And uh, next thing what we're going to do is we're going to jump right into our browser. Now you can use any host that you wish. We're just going to go ahead and use the Echo Stretch 701. And dot site. And our two for done. Give it a moment here to load. Jump into the echo stretch. Okay, and then once we do get in there, we'll go ahead and just go to 9.00 goal 10. Let it install the cache. Reopen the browser. Okay, and we'll open it back up. Okay, we'll get our USB stick ready for when the message pops up. Go ahead and insert our USB. Okay, go ahead and hit OK. And then we can go ahead and remove the USB and hit OK again. Once that is done, go ahead and just back out of there. We can jump over to our settings. Jump into Goal 10, and we'll go down to Enable Debug Settings. Go ahead and select Full, and then we'll back out to the main settings. Scroll down to Debug Settings. Go into System and IDU Mode. Go ahead and select that. As you can see, it is on. If you go ahead and select Off, it will want to do a restart, but that is fine. Go ahead and hit OK, and we'll let it reboot. Okay, so we have it booting up now. We do have the PlayStation logo. After this, we should get a message, and then we should be able to log into the PS4. But that was basically all, guys. Just a simple little fix, but uh, if you do watch the previous video, you will see that I wasn't able to see anything, and I just uh, I couldn't see that it was actually in IDU mode. So we'll go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. As you can see, the user account comes up. And there we go. We get to uh, jump in. Now, this wouldn't have been possible if uh, we weren't able to, if it was a 9.00, because that's the highest uh, firmware that we can actually load Gold 10 with. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for the video. I just jumped on. I know a few people have been asking what I did to fix it, because it is good knowledge. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.